that's not even like that's in a sense but that kind of looks like it's rebellious for me. But that's that mm-hmm. that's that Hollywood bull. Uh, no, I, I think, I'm not going for it. I think I'm this goes back to some just, six people in Hollywood. That just said real quick, like people, we we do have to account for how drastic lifestyles are. Some people, some people yeah. live completely different lives. Last week we said. You know, a lot of a lot of dudes that go out and get it are gone 60, 65 hours. It was visible. It was visible pushback on that. That's a lifestyle. Yeah. Well, the difference with that, though, is that that is the norm for people that live that that are in that space. Right. Right. I I don't think that that's abnormal for a man to work more than 40 hours. I think that that is normal. Yeah. Um, Yeah. You know, that's that's not crazy to me. Yeah, It's not crazy to you. Because you do. I don't think it's crazy to the general public, to grown people. I, I don't I mean, know. We, but most we women. I don't. I don't know most women. <laughs> well, remember most women said, work more than forty you, hours a week. I hate to use you as an example. I right work now. more than forty hours a week. Thank you. But you hate. But you I hate. Just, nigga most that work. women I know work more than forty hours a week. That is not abnormal to me. I'm we not sorry. gonna visit last week. We are gonna let it go. But you just. <laughs> even in retrospect, you're not she helping. Said, no, but if we were in, if we had in this room. Three other sex workers mm-hmm. who had OnlyFans pages. What would their perspective be about having a vagina on the wall? I think that when we're thinking about what's normal, kids? it's like what's normal for who? And she, it's in, in her bedroom they, in though. But it's kids. it's in her bedroom though. No, or is I don't it know in the living room? It's in the. It's I'm in going the by based room. on. But there are so many people who have erotic art in their household. Like that. That is an an art style. So I don't. I don't know who's according normal to who. Normal to who? What is the standard? Yeah. What is the status quo we're asserting? You know, I, th- I think, and I'm going to say this real quick. I think if you're going to live a certain kind of lifestyle, whatever that lifestyle going to be, and you know that that you're just doing it, you're living for you, whatever that is, sometimes you got to sacrifice stuff. I'm not going to bring kids into this one because I live my life in such a way, and I'm living it the way I want to live it. And I want to always be able to do what I want to do. If you're going to have that mindset, I'm going to always do what I want to do. You almost got to sacrifice the kid having the having of the kids. Because that naturally or should take away that complete selfishness. Because I can't just do what I want to do all the time. Now I have to do what's best for this individual, this human being that I done birthed into this world. Now, I can, my selfishness has to be turned into selflessness. Now, I have to sacrifice for them and not just do what I want to do. And I think that's part of the problem that I'm having with the Amber Roses of the world, whether they're famous or not, whether they're popular or not. I'm having a problem with being extremely selfish and then saying, okay, you because you can you grown enough to do what you want to do and people can't stop you. As long as it's not illegal, fine. Whatever people can have a moral problem with it if they want to, as long as you're not hurt nobody, whatever. We live in that country where you can do that. But I'm having a problem with saying I'm a, I'm going to birth children into the world and I'ma still put myself number one. I'm moving above them too. Like you say it's completely selfish, but it it goes back to I hate to say this like Whitney Houston. You look at the lifestyle of that she lived in front of her child. You know, when you see the, you know, you see the stories, like her daughter was exposed to some things that I probably felt like she shouldn't have been exposed to, like you know, and drugs and stuff and stuff that your child may see, but that's still wrong. You know, that's a, it's a completely selfish individual to expose your children to everything, even though the world's going to expose it to them. But it's a different age, like you said, and the way that you're supposed to present it to them. But people are selfish. But then y'all can't really. Like, is she, cause is she being selfish? She just trying to teach her son, like, respect the woman's body. In her mind, she's doing the right thing. In her mind, she, I'm teaching you to respect the woman's body, not look at it as an object. Like, look at it, what it's there for, like, to reproduce, to love. Like, you know, it's That's just, which I find it's to be hypocritical weird. of her. It's just weird that she's, I'm not even gonna say weird, it's just not. 
this certain stuff is certain no. age bracket that this should be exposed. That's I, it to yeah. Because yeah. they're going to mm-hmm. get exposed to it. He's going to know what a vagina is. Yeah. But I, he's only like, what, and five or six or something? No, no. Well, the oldest one. Bash is like 12, ain't yeah. he? Yeah. But he's, he's seen it when he was younger, it, though. Yeah. But, I don't think this yeah. was... Sebastian that they were talking about. I think it was the younger one. Well, I was talking about Sebastian because Sebastian was the one who, the vagina on the wall, he was telling his friends about it and she was like, yeah. I'm happy that my son can explain like what a vagina looks like, like oh, what a clitoris is. Mm-hmm. Like, why is he telling oh, his kids matter. that like, I was getting popped because I told my friends that Santa Claus wasn't real. Like, but you want your son <laughs> but here's the thing. explaining this? Is... <laughs> it, 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 here's, my, here's my thing. I'm going to comment on something that, that you were saying about Amber Rose and, and her not wanting to her son to see women's bodies as a, a, objects and she said that mm-hmm. so I know that that's what she thinks which I find to be hypocritical of her because she wouldn't have been able to get the bag if men didn't see exactly. women as a sexual mm-hmm. object for them to she wouldn't have been able to make her living she made her living the, the, the only fans mm-hmm. that's why there's an only fans that she's making money off of because if men have this equipment we can't sexually objectify <laughs> any women you wouldn't be making no money and then you know what I'm not even no because it's funny that you say that because that means her whole slut walk is a walking contradiction because exactly you're purposely putting this out here but you're saying it's for the women but women ain't in the strip clubs not like that they're not gonna blow in the bag are you like the men are like right. your whole so target you really audience need to be is quiet. men is the slut walk a strip walk or is it a, the a slut walk she don't want to be don't, it's my body I do what I want if I want to mm. walk around half naked I can that doesn't mean that you can objectify me what all, yeah. So that's why ideas. I think it's framed to empower shit. women. Yeah. Because well, the it's other like, idea of it is that. Shit. <laughs> From <laughs> your <laughs> perspective, maybe. <laughs> you know, what is it empowering? It's if empowering. you a hoe, you a hoe. And if you're going to be mad, that's then a nigga saying. call you a hoe, that's your problem. No, she's saying if I'm a hoe, I could be a hoe. But a man but can be a she hoe too, mad. But then she get mad on Drink Champ about them saying saying hoe. Well, what do you mean? Listen. I know you hollering because the rock hit you in your head, but let's stop. You've made your living hoeing. You Just are. understand yeah, that the, you grown. You made them decisions and nobody had a gun in your head and make you do none of that. You did all of that stuff of you. If you wanted to be known as a bank teller, maybe you should have got a bank teller job. Like, stop. <laughs> right. You want to be a doctor, be a doctor. She said she want to be a hoe. Let her be a hoe. And was nobody complaining. That's the, that's she made. That's, that's, that's the hypocritical, hypocritical aspect of it. It's because she's saying, "Don't label me this way." But then you go out and, label and you yourself. walk and you label yourself that way. Because right. she took it it's back. It's the stigma. Like the it's the stigma around it. That's like the there's a lot of judgment around who she is versus like what she does, and so it's the same as like. She's just critiquing the way she's treated in that existence. So I don't think she has, honestly, any shame. Yeah, Yeah, she don't have no shame in being a hoe. She want to be a hoe. That's what she want to do. But But does that mean that she shouldn't be treated with respect? 